Good news, parents are rising up to rescue our schools. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. The pandemic lockdowns exposed to parents why so many of our schools are in trouble. They were shocked by the curriculums, what was in them and what wasn't in them, most notably courses that objectively gave kids an overview of our history and our way of government, what used to be called civics. Shockingly, immigrants applying for U.S. citizenship were learning more about our history and our forms of government than American school children. Parents realized they needed more input in how schools are run and what their children are being taught. They were appalled at how the unions kept schools closed when there was no scientific justification. This has given the school choice movement a powerful thrust that ultimately promises to get our education system back on track. There is no excuse why our kids score so poorly on reading and math tests when compared with their peers in other nations. Many kids go on to high school who are barely literate. Children's prospects shouldn't be limited by their zip code. Yet despite local successes in certain states like Florida and Arizona and cities such as Milwaukee, progress has been disheartlingly thwarted by powerful teachers' unions, which fiercely resist any challenge to their monopoly. For the most part, they have seriously limited the number of charter schools, which can operate free from the clutches of the unions. No wonder kids in charter and other non-government schools routinely do better than their peers. But last year, the dam started to break. 19 states either created or expanded school choice options. This year, more than 20 states have done this or are in the process of passing significant pro-choice legislation. Along the same lines, the number of kids being homeschooled has doubled. What is notable is the growing cry for school money to follow the kids, not the school, in the form of education savings accounts, ESAs. Money is deposited in these accounts for various educational purposes, including private school tuition. The number of states with various forms of ESAs in 2021 doubled from 5 to 10. West Virginia is the leader here. By 2026, ESAs could be available to all students in that state. New Hampshire passed an ambitious ESA program dubbed Education Freedom Accounts. The Ohio legislature has begun hearings on legislation offering school choice throughout the state. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds is pushing ambitious school choice legislation. Of course, resistance is fierce. At the behest of unions, Utah's Republican governor is blocking a school choice bill, which brings us to an inconvenient truth. The teachers' unions are not about educating kids, but about expanding administrative bloat, which means more dues payers. For example, one study found that between 1992 and 2014, real inflation-adjusted school spending went up 27 percent, while teachers' pay went down 2%. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again.